Trend Micro, a global company specializing in IT security solutions, released their annual securities predictions report this week in a year when there have been various cyber attacks around the world, including one on StarHub servers, which were hit by an unprecedented distributed denial of service or DDoS attack that crippled its broadband service. What should we be looking out for next year? Well, here to tell us more is David Sia. He's country manager of Trend Micro Singapore. Welcome to the studio, David. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Steve. So, so David, DDoS and ransomware attacks, they've made the news this year. Uh, we're looking ahead now, co coming to the end of 2016. What have we got in store for 2017? What do you anticipate? I believe 2017, we would see an increase in ransomware attacks, except for the fact that the growth over 2016 to 2017 would slow down a little bit. We predict that in 2017, there will be a 25% increase in the number of ransomware families over 2016. Now that might seem very little, but if you look at the context of 2016's growth over 2015, we had 400 ransomware families been discovered just this year alone. In fact, Trend Micro alone has detected and blocked over 10 million ransomware threats across the Asia-Pacific region in the first six months of this year alone. Taking that in context, we see that ransomware will continue to be a big problem in 2017. And this uptrend uh, certainly is a concern. Just explain just quickly what is a ransomware and, then, and why you think it's going to be more prevalent next year. Well, ransomware actually, um, to simply put it right, um, is an infection of a computer and denying the computer's users access to the computer and access to the files inside the computer. And in exchange for freedom to access back the computer and its files, the ransomware victim would have to pay an online ransom, most likely through bitcoins, in order to gain back access to his files. And bitcoins because they are less traceable and very difficult to trace. Difficult so you mentioned that 25% figure, that increase. Yes. But what's behind it? Why are we seeing you know, you know, this, this rise? I believe that um, it is a very prolific method of cyber attacks, mainly because it is a very easy way for the hackers to make money. If you are able to target a very sensitive document, for example, on a computer, take for example, one of the hospitals in California, they got attacked and the servers that they actually have confidential information on were actually frozen and information could not be extracted. In the end, they have to pay 17,000 US dollars right, to free up the information so that their operations can be revived. So because of the commercial element of it, right, the profitability, criminals thrive on such profit and they will continue to be attracted to such easy money. Now, 17,000 doesn't seem like a lot, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. Is that part of it? Is to make it affordable for, for, for people that are being targeted to actually be able to pay? I believe it's, it's actually a volume game when it comes to ransomware. And this contrasts very, very starkly against a more complicated kind of attack known as the business process compromise, which is a very long game when it comes to cyber attacks. And, but the payouts can be a lot bigger. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your thoughts with us today. We've learnt a lot and a lot to be cautious of as in the year ahead as well. Thank you right. so much. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Don. Yeah, it's David Sia, Country Manager of Trend Micro Singapore.